Joy Papers Vision and Our Group. This is pretty much the tools you need to pull this effect off. A green screen, green screen cloth, and a lighting setup. Let's jump straight into it. Alright folks, pretty much after you get all your footage shot, everything imported in your Premiere Pro or whatever editor you're using, you pretty much just want to bring that to the timeline. This is my footage right here. You just want to go ahead and bring that to the timeline, import that, drag it on there. You want to key all the green out. You can use Premiere Pro with the Ultra Key. You know what I mean? And uh, key that out. Key the background out. Teardropper tool. Ultra Key, key Teardropper tool. You want to. Then you have to adjust your settings to get all of that out. Or my preferred method is dynamic link through Adobe After Effects. So what you want to do is just pretty much drag it on your timeline, right click, replace with After Effects composition. And what that does will dynamic link your Premiere Pro session with your After Effects session with that file. And it should open up in uh, Adobe Premiere, I mean Adobe After Effects. All right, uh, this catch is full. Let's go ahead and click that. You want to save it. I'm going to just save it as a test. Overwrite that. And it will import your footage. Premiere Pro. It will turn red. That's how you know it says Big Head Effect Link Composition. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. And once, you, once you get in Adobe After Effects, this is where you want to key it out. All right. Double click that. Come up to the top where your bar at. Go to Effect. Come down to where you say it's keying. All right. You want to key this out. Go to keying. Key light 1.2. That's what we're going to use to key this out. All right. Pretty much the same as Adobe Premiere, but, you know, it's way better. You know, you got way more control. And you can do a lot of more things inside After Effects that you can't do in Premiere Pro. So pretty much what you want to do is take your teardropper tool, click on that, and you want to key the green out. All right. I have two different greens in here. Of course, you want to match your green up, but I have two different greens in here. So for this tutorial, we're going to try to get it out as much as we can. So what you want to do is you can adjust your green or you can adjust your your, your screen gain. Uh, let's just go ahead and get it black as we can. And uh, let's just add some contrast to it. Uh, let's add some saturation to it, darken it up a little bit. Bring a lot of color back in. I don't need it too black, but it's pretty much it right here, man. You know, you know, you eliminate your head. We got a little bit of artifacts in here, but we're not going to get too detailed in it. So once you do that, key everything out. You know what I mean? You got your head left, and that should show up in your after your Premiere Pro session. Remember to save it. So let's save that, and it'll automatically take effect. So there you go. This is your after effect, your Premiere Pro session, and it take place like that right there, so. You want to do the same thing with your body. You know, if you shot stock footage or I just went ahead and made him dance in front of the green screen for a little bit. So we're going to do the same thing we did with this on this. All right. And I shot it sideways. It don't matter because you're going to key the background out. I just shot it sideways because I didn't have much room and I'm going to key it out anyway. So pretty much just drag it in. Drag that in. And what you want to do is right click place with After Effects composition. Boom. It will open up in After Effects. You got that going. Simple, right? Double click it. Same thing. Effect. Go to your key. Key light 1.2. You do the same thing. We're going to key that out. Since pretty much everything the same lighting, same conditions, nothing changed, I'm going to just copy this key light settings and paste it on my big head. I mean, my uh, body shots. It should work good. All right. Save that. Save that. Go back to Premiere Pro. It should work. Now, let's go ahead and get this right lined up. We're going to rotate that. What, 90 degrees? Rotate that 90 degrees and see what we got. Pretty much keyed out, all right. Now you just pretty much just shrinking this down. I'm gonna shrink that down, and we're gonna put the 
big head on there. Drag it in place. Now you can see the inside of that because we ain't got it keyed too good, but it's pretty much it's pretty much the general idea of the effect. And you're gonna have to keyframe the movement so everything can stay match. All right. So just find a spot. Let's find this spot right here. Let's find a good spot to start with the key. In. All right. Let's start with this right here. <coughs> And we're going to remove it. Move it. Size it up. Put a little, little bit of rotation on there so the head can match the body. Alright. Let's make it a little bigger. You can make it big as hell, but let's make it a little bigger. I mean, bring that up a little bit. And you can keyframe this. You can keyframe the movements in um, Adobe After Effects, or you can keyframe it in Premiere Pro. So we're gonna start with this right here. All right. All you're doing is keying a position. So each frame, zoom in as much as you want. Each frame, you want to key that position. All right. And that's pretty much the s the scale, the rotation, and the position. All right, so next frame, you know, you might want him to tilt his head a little bit more with the body. So you just want to rotate that a little bit. And we'll bring it about a layer. All right, let's keyframe that, all right? Let's keyframe that at about 10. Let's see, maybe a 3. It was off a little bit, so after you want to keyframe that, keyframe the position. Let's go down a little bit. About five thirty. All right. All right. You want to keep going until you. Rotate a little bit, slide it over a little bit. Try to rotate it a little bit more. You can pretty much move it how you want to. Slide it up a little bit. Let's make a keyframe in the movement. See how his neck showing? When you leave that there, you don't want it to show too much and look off. So let's move this over a little bit, tilt it a little bit. See his shoulders moving. So what I would do, I I just keep the head. You do you just want it to look as natural as possible. Slide it over. I mean that looks good. Boom. Shoulders go back. I slide it back a little bit more this way. Alright, it's pretty much you you, see, you guys can see that. You know, you want to keyframe that. You know what I mean? You can take your time and get it, finesse it, and make sure it's, everything is right. And you can use After Effects, but it's pretty much the basis of the tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and render that little section just to show you guys <coughs> how it looked without the stuttering in it. But, you know, once you get it keyframe, you know, you can pretty much just do it how you want. Keyframe it, green screen. You can't go wrong. You know, that's pretty much it, man.